Hi, right, good everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. David Gross with Condi Systems back with you to share a little of our wisdom for sublimation success. And of course, uh, my sidekick Sprite. How are you? I'm fantastic, David. How are you? All oh, doing good. That's um, good. We had a, a great show at Portland, and want to thank all the folks that came by to participate. Uh, please let us know if we're having any uh, audio problems. We have done some upgrades with our video quality, so hopefully it's it's uh, really, really good. And as you can see, we're in a new location today, so... Yeah, so we're going to talk about that. Um, we're in a one of our working production labs here at Condi. Uh, we also use it as, as an R&D area, and uh, we're also getting ready in this area for our open house. So we're having all sorts of fun things. And really that's the first thing. I want to make sure everybody is invited to open house. It is June 2nd, which is a Saturday from 10 to 3 p.m. We're going to have lots of fun things to do, uh, lots of learning opportunities, mm -hmm. uh, some prizes, and we're going to feed you. So uh, we've got three classes, one taught by Mr. Correll, Roger Wambach. That's right. Uh, Jimmy Lamb from Sawgrass will teach on uh, Creative Studio. And then um, Sprite will teach on uh, your, your, your eclectic measure, you know, basket of all sorts of things. And so what are some of the things they're going to learn in your class? Um, so my class, uh, we're going to talk about Condi Design and how to use the Condi templates with Condi Design. Uh, CondiDesign.com is our uh, image site where you can go and you can purchase, uh, you can download these beautiful images that are really easy to manipulate. They're easy to put into our templates. And so I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks on how to do that. And also just some really good web resources that I use just daily. So but it's, those kind of things would be good for anybody, whether they were oh, using yeah. our art or whatever. Exactly. So some, some great things there. Um, if there are some things that you'd like to see, uh, if you're coming to it, um, uh, see it Sprites class or any of the others, uh, please let us know. We have uh, two webinars coming up really, really quick. One of them, as soon as I finish here, I'm going to hop on the webinar with Jimmy Lamb at 3 o'clock Central Time, I think. Mm -hmm. And that webinar is going to be on probably my favorite subject, which is pricing. pricing. And so over the years, that's been one of those kind of things that I think many people probably left money on the table. Uh, they would undersell their products. Um, I always compliment the embroidery people out there for, um, for not doing that. I think the vast majority that I've come in contact with always have some, some uh, great pricing for what I would call value, some good thing. Then tomorrow we'll have another webinar with uh, the good folks at Digital Art Solutions, Craig Mertens, and that will feature selling to team sports and maybe a couple of other markets, but, but should be great. Um, uh, let's see, what else did we want to mention? Um, we did have our Coloring with Condi at Portland, and I think we've published a few of those uh, photographs. It was an amazing success. And I just talked to the great folks at NBM, and they have said um, that they'd like to see us um, continue that effort um, at Cleveland. So when we go to Cleveland, we will uh, have a separate Condi booth um, there and, and show uh, coloring. So you'll show up at the booth, you'll color, and take your transfer down to the Condi booth for us to decorate. Um, uh, so we had um, our product re review winners and um, we had two winners and each one won $100 in Condi credit. Um, our first winner was Lori Rupp. Uh, Lori owns uh, Cone Camera and Photo, so congratulations, wow. Lori. Wow, great job. Yeah. And our second winner is Brian Spencer from Dabble Down, so congrats, guys. Um, I think you received an email. Um, yeah, or you will awesome, receive an Lori email. Awesome, Lori and Brian. Great job. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. And don't forget, 
each week we're going to be randomly selecting a person who submitted a review within that week and they will receive a $25 Condi credit. So please keep those reviews coming. Let us know how you feel. Even if you don't like it, let us know. We want to hear from you. And it's your chance to win a little prize. So. All right, and also um, be, be sure to participate in the Condi client gallery to upload images to the gallery to, to sort of be a community to show people what is working for you. Um, I think that's probably one of the best things that uh, we have on our website that's really not anything to do with us, it's, it's really you showing off your innovativeness with uh, designs and um, in the coming months I'm going to try to figure out how to also communicate to folks what, what maybe were some other keys to your success in sales and marketing. So um, a, lot of, a lot of great value, uh, is say I learn so many things every day from, from our great clients like yourself. Um, so I think the last thing um, before we can get to the fun stuff, uh, so don't forget our open house is of course June the 2nd. Please register now on our website. We will be live streaming the classes for those of you who, that, who cannot attend. Um, however, those of you who do come to the open house will get a chance to qualify early for our Christmas in July gift. So if you spend $200 or more on, on an order, you will get the opportunity to get a free Christmas in July box filled with awesome Condi products. So this is $150 worth of products that we're giving away if you buy $200 worth of product or more. And that is on the open house. And we have a limited number of these. How, but you also have uh, this, another chance to qualify between June the 8th and the 15th. So go ahead, get your orders in, um, and yeah, you win $150 worth of uh, really great product and uh, just some really good, really, really good things in there. So it really starts at open house. Yeah. Yeah. And and so if you go to open house, you're automatically in the drawing, right? Well, if you if you if buy two hundred dollars or more, yeah, and then but you get a sneak sneak. Right, you get you get first dibs, first dibs. and then on June the eighth, we, we will open, open registration again, or the chance to I got you. yeah qualify again. All right. I got you. I All that, right, what are we going to do today? Okay, so as you guys can see, we are in our lab, and we are in front of our maxi press. So. This is our large format press. This is where we do all the big stuff that you see. And today I'm gonna to be pressing some glass and some metal. And we're also going to be doing some Father's Day. Um, <laughs> we're also gonna be doing some Father's Day stuff, but uh, let's, let's do the big stuff first. So this is a, a George Knight, uh, what's called a Maxi Air. And the platen size is 44 by 64. Um, interestingly enough, unlike most presses, um, this press pushes up from the bottom. Um, so the top is stationary. Um, so you can set the dwell time, you can set the temperature, you can set the pressure. Um, the pressure is over there at the bottom right. Yeah. That's, that's what referred to as a gauge pressure. Um, and so, um, with these kind of presses, they can exert an amazingly heavy amount of pressure, um, and that's good. You'll also note under here, um, we, we don't have a rubber pad. There, there's, there's no rubber pad. So what we have is an Omex pad, and so that's why you've seen us shift more and more to using Nomex because um, we've gotten used to it, of course, on the, the big press. Yeah. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is, this is our color light glass. This is a 20 by 30 piece. And I have my image uh, printed out here. We printed this on our um, RJ900. It's, it's a Muto RJ900X um, printer. And it's, it's certainly, um, in the large format world, it's, it's one of my favorites. It is a easy, <laughs> um, press, easy to use printer, um, and it has refillable cartridges, bulking, low cost savings, but it is also probably the last printer um, is, um, um, that allows you to replace a printhead. So with just a little bit of technical expertise, 
um, you can slide it over and replace the print head. So it gives you two wonderful features. It gives you um, ink diversity. So let's say um, later this year we may come out with um, our outdoor ink and um, that will be a good ink for both indoor and outdoor. Well, printers like this will support it. Other printers that have uh, proprietary um, ink sets and chips and all that, um, you know, you use what you, what you purchased when you first got it. All right, so I have my glass uh, affixed to my transfer. And I just have some uh, butcher paper down here. Well, this is uh, this is craft paper, um, and I'm just going to take my glass and my image. I'm going to flip it over so it's transfer face down. I'm going to cover it with a sheet of polypoplin. This is item number F008. And I'm going to press this for two and a half minutes at about 80 PSI. So. So you see it rising up from the bottom. Um, fabric has become our go-to for Chromalux, for glass, and probably a few more things, yeah. but, but certainly those two things. And, and the logic is very simple. Um, as moisture comes out of the coating, as moisture comes out of the transfer, um, the fabric does an excellent job of dissipating that moisture. Um, so, so really good. Um, also, I recommend um, to dry the transfer. So if we hadn't already dried our transfers, we would put that underneath without closing it, just slide it in for a few seconds to dry it. So. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys on the next one. Um, yeah, these were printed, uh, I think, yesterday, actually, so yeah. they're, they're pretty well dry. Now, one of the things I talk about is Sprite um, um, deals with peel coat. I guess I could help her, really. I think um, I, I got it. But, I got you it. know, I, it, I would still dry the transfer, period, end of story, even if you printed it yesterday. And the reason is, is if you're in a high humidity environment, the paper can actually absorb moisture. So you can actually put uh, more moisture into it um, than uh, that. And so, uh, by the way, we do um, always play with different techniques to get the um, um, peel coat off. And one of the techniques is putting the press with a cover paper on top. Just press for a couple of seconds to soften it and, and coming off. Um, also, another great tip as she you know, gets ready is I like to um, put your referral information on the back of the metal so you can extend the transfer just a little bit, put your information about how to reorder this, um, you know, about it. You could even put artist information. You could come up with all sorts of, of neat stuff to put on the back. And then what you do is you just fold the transfer over um, usually at the back, you know, the bottom section of it, so that um, that's going to sublimate on the back. It won't look as good as the front, but it certainly looks good enough. So that's just something that you can do, which I call the, the, the lanyap method of value. So, you know, if uh, Brittany were here or, or Tori, they would say, and that, that sound, sound means, means we're done. We're done. So That's she's going to pull off our uh, Polly Poplin. She's using gloves as, as usual. And um, unbelievable. Wow. Um, looks good. And, and let's hold this up, trans hold this up camera while you let it cool. So you can see, obviously, that, you know, this is where there was no home for the ink. The ink is still active there, but it can't find a, a home to, to di diffuse into. Um, Dye so, diffusion is, is sort of what some people call sublimation. Uh, but here you can see where the vast majority of the ink, um, you know, is, is uh, gone. So that just, this lets us know how thirsty a coating is or substrate. That looks 
amazing. So the color light coating is a coating that we uh, developed here at Condi when we built our, our coating facility. And um, unbelievable. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Spin it around without turning, you know, you just see how beautiful it looks. Wow, looks so good. Isn't that nice? Um, and you can feel the heat radiator. Yeah, we're going to set this down. So um, the color art coating was a coating we developed at Condi here to really um, innovate with, with substrates like uh, film, glass, and acrylic. And that coating uh, allows you to view it from both sides. Um, and it also uh, has some unique properties. It amplifies what is perceived to be white. Yeah. So, so in sublimation, we can't sublimate white, but with the, the color light coating, we can come darn close to, to breaking those laws of physics by, by using coating magic, if you will, to amplify what is perceived to be white. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is a 20 by 30 piece of metal, and this is our Chromalux HD panels. Um, this is a matte white, so you see it's not really a high gloss. It just has a matte finish to it. So I'm going to lay this on my image. How many millimeters is that metal? Um, what is the, is it 0. 0.47? How thick is it? Yeah. Um, so this would be 045 um, is the thickness. All right, so when I lay my tape on these, I like to lay it lengthwise. Uh, we've talked about this before in other videos. It just makes it a little easier to peel the tape off. Also, I do recommend a little extra bleed as the panel gets bigger. Oh, um, you know what? <laughs> What are you doing? I'm going to hover my transfer. Okay. There we go. Yeah, hovering transfer is smart. Um, the bigger the product gets, the more surface area, the more um, moisture there is to come out. And so uh, giving a couple of seconds of hover time, um, that's plenty, um, I think is, is, um, is really a good thing. Also, uh, for people like me that have done sublimation for a long time, um, I've had the privilege to learn by our great folks here at Condi that run, uh, run this all day long. And, and ultimately, um, they certainly like the idea of drying the transfer, um, also because it shocks it a little bit and tightens it. So um, uh, by tightening a little bit, um, um, you, you get Again, all these steps are designed to give you incrementally more consistent and better results is, is ultimately what they're for. Um, so, um, you know, again, you know, a nice bleed is, is helpful, um, you know, with uh, this. Now, this cover paper has a little bit of ink here. Um, if, if, you know, we were going to do this, we might just um, take a new piece here. And I actually um, have a piece ready. And... Um, because you, you will get a little bit of this ink on the, um, the back side, and so... Um, uh, I think if you take the bottom one away... Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, and do will just overlap it. Yeah. All right. And, um, yeah, and that actually that wasn't a factor on the glass, because the glass, uh, you can't sublimate to the front side of it, so... Um, but yeah, the metal, it would show up on the back of the metal, so good call, David. All right, so we're going to put it on there. Uh, we're going to flip it, so our image is going to be face down. So again, very similar to the way we do glass. Um, I do have a great video that goes through a lot of these steps, um, you know, in even more detail. And so you can just, like, go to YouTube, search Condi Space Chromalux, and you can see it. Um, and a lot of the folks out there are tempted to do pieces like this with, you know, the traditional method of just a cover paper. But I can tell you that, that um, a cover paper on top is, is going to be problematic. Um, and so moisture can be trapped. And so um, she's going to run the time down a little bit. What are you going to press? Uh, so we're pressing this at 400 degrees at two minutes. So 
it only takes 30 seconds longer to do the glass, which is amazing. Now, that's one thing about all our times. Um, please, 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 if you're watching this video, say a year from now, refer to our current times that we post because they change. Um, every, every day, we're always trying to improve the process. And so you can't watch this video and get the exact recipe. We're going to document that in the instructions. Right. Um, when you handle handle the white, removing the protective coating, should it be wiped a fingerprint before sublimating? Um, not necessarily. David, would you? So, so you know, it's a great question. So the question is, is what about cleaning the surface of it? Of the and, metal. And and it's not a bad idea. The challenge a little bit. Um, again, it's a double-edged sword. It depends on your environment. But if you wipe it down with something like denatured alcohol, you're actually going to charge the surface. Um, and you could attract some stuff to the surface as you're wiping it down. But um, certainly, um, wiping it down is, is a good idea. Um, I the, um, the, the, the gas itself pretty much will go through um, fingerprints. Um, but still, um, you know, if I saw something on the metal, I, I'd probably go ahead and wipe it down. Yeah, I normally, um, before I do it, I'll take a paper towel and wipe it to make sure there's no debris or pieces of lint or anything on it. So, yeah, good question. All right, we're so almost done. So I guess done. the real answer is yes. It's a good yeah. idea to wipe it down. Um, um, it's so key. We try to keep this environment here quite clean, and it's a struggle. There you go. There we go. Note that the opening and closing the press is actually fairly slow compared to how many of you may open and close your manual presses. So opening and closing relatively slowly is a good thing because we obviously uh, don't want to see uh, any paper movement. So a real good transfer on that yes. one. Yes. All right, we're going to wait um, for that to cool for yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's funny when you do this a lot, um, and, and it's very quiet in here, which is not real quiet right this second, you can actually hear the metal, what we call dancing, uh, because it's so darn hot, and it's, and it's uh, thermally shocked, and so it's cooling down, and so it'll, it'll make some noise. Great. Absolutely beautiful. And really easy to press. So that's a that's a twenty by thirty piece. Looks to me. Yes. Um, it is. Yeah. Just just turned out beautifully. And if you tell you what, put the put it back up here and put okay. it on the black table. Just put it up here. I want to show you how good it looks even against the black table. It actually kind of pop makes it pop a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so the, don't worry about the color of your walls. You know, it's not going to make a difference. They look fantastic. So it's just, it's an amazing, um, I guess, breakthrough technology that um, it glows with light, but it still looks great even with a solid black background. All right. And if we flipped it over, we can just see how it looks on that. And the back is a more of a matte finish. Yeah. All right. So here's our metal. It turned out very, very nice. Colors look great. So yeah. Do we have a question? Yes. How do you hang the glass? So um, the question is um, how you hang the glass. And basically, when you order the glass, um, you, you can order it with the edge grip standoffs. So that's a pack of four edge grip standoffs. You, you, you screw one part into the wall, and the other part grips the glass and screws into the part that's in the wall. And I think we've got a couple of videos um, yeah. showing that. Um, you know, I, I would say that, you know, 
they're, they're a little bit challenging, just like hanging a, a picture on the wall, but with just a little bit of planning of the grippers, you, you're good to go. Um, unlike, let's say the glass had a hole in it, you're, you're trapped, but with the edge grippers, you know, you can move it this way a little bit that way and it still works out. Uh, we do have one size of glass that does have what I call the traditional holes. Looks like uh, what you would see on acrylic. Um, what is that, like a 12 it's by a 18? 12 by 18, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And then how much is the press? You know, um, I got too many numbers in my mind and I just, I can't remember. Um, but if you, you call or email us, we can tell you. But um, just too much, too much to remember. Um, just, just can't. Um, the question, they didn't hear the question. The question oh. is, uh, how much is the heat press? So the it's a George press, Knight yeah. Maxi 44 by 64 Air. And, and I, I just, sorry, I can't remember. But it's on the website. Um, you can go look. By the way, this press does require a compressor. Our compressor is located behind us, um, behind this wall, so you can't hear it. Um, but a, a compressor is necessary to operate a pneumatic press. Yeah. All right, you want to scoot down a little bit so I can get to this press? Yep, yep, yep. All right, guys. So, Father's Day is coming up next month. And so in honor of Father's Day, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a product grouping. And so today uh, we're going to do a set of coasters, um, a bottle opener that's also, uh, you can, it's a keychain, and a hugger. So perfect little set to give to Dad. Um, I have this really cute pattern. Let's see, let me show you a bigger one. It says, best dad ever. And um, so if you, on your next $150 order, let them know that you want this Father's Day art pack and you will get it. It'll be in, uh, you can use it in Corel Draw, um, Illustrator, uh, Photoshop, Silhouette. So um, yeah, all right. And I think they, the folks out there that use Creative Studio, I think you can yes. upload it to Creative Studio as well. Yes, yes, definitely. So, all right, so let's get started. So I think we got everybody covered. I think we do. Um, that, by the way, behind us um, is the George Knight DK20S. This is probably the best-selling shop sublimation heat press in the world. It's 16 by 20 inches. Um, it's a swing away, meaning we have great even pressure, and it's just ideal for the sublimation world. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is this little um, bottle opener, and I, uh, we're going to do both sides at the same time. So I have my image just duplicated, um, and I'm, gonna, I'm going to fold it over so that both sides match up and just crease it. I'm going to use a little bit of Pro Spray. Give me that box, please. You got one there. No. Okay. Here we go. I got it. Oh, okay. Got gotcha. you. Ah, this is the spray box. Yes, this is the spray box. Okay, so I'm just going to use my Pro Spray. Lightly missed it. I'm going to center my bottle opener on the bottom image. And I'm going to use my crease and fold it over. I'm going to make sure that I got it even on both sides. Let's see. All right. So now we're ready to press. Um, so butcher paper. So metal is the only substrate I know of that you can decorate both sides at the same time because it conducts heat so well. And so these products are double-sided. Um, so it makes them very, very attractive. So 
So I'm going to press this at 400 degrees for 75 seconds with medium pressure. All right, and while we're doing that, I'm going to uh, prep my coaster. So I'm just going to take my peel coat off. So peel coat is something that we saw in the metal. Um, glass didn't have any peel coat. And peel coat um, is something that you just need to look and see if the product has peel coat. If you're unsure, you can put it in the heat press, put a piece of paper on top, press it for 10, 15 seconds, um, and if the peel coat is there, it's going to soften and stick to the paper and get off. But after you do a few things, you sort of start understanding uh, what things are likely to have peel coat and what things are not. So we're just going to do two. So Pro Spray is an alternative to heat tape. And sometimes heat tape is the right thing to do. Sometimes Pro Spray is, is um, the ticket. Yeah, so and on these, um, on these particular ones, I don't like to use tape because the tape can sometimes uh, pull up the cork on the backing. Obviously, metal is very hot. You've got to be be careful. Wow, looks good. Put it out there on a piece of paper, maybe. You can see that. Just throw it out. There we go. So, so that will be a great gift for Dad. Um, put it on your keychain and. Uh, one of the opportunities you have um, is to maybe personalize the artwork a little bit more. Could be the year. Um, you could even have, you know, the kids' names on one side, for instance, um, who it's from. So think of um, great ways to to provide additional personalization on all your artwork because. Um, that way it just doesn't look like it's, um, it's an off-the-shelf product for just any dad. We want it to be um, just for you. So we're pressing our coasters now. Yep, and we pressed them. Uh, I did two, so uh, normally we do them for 65 seconds, and I just added three seconds on there. So that should be plenty of time. Yeah, with a press like this, you're really putting out a lot of heat. Um, and um, Meredith, everything good? Uh, we, got, we got kicked off YouTube, so I'm working on getting this back. Ah, okay. Um, so um, the um, you know again to reiterate, um, black is the last color to sublimate. So if you're getting a good deep rich black, you're, you're dialed in. Generally speaking, if you press too long, you'll, your black will um, will turn uh, brown. Um, so you can make a judgment call as to whether or not you're you're dialed in. Um, the um, you going to show us any little surprises with the coasters or no? No, maybe. Yeah. Are you just okay. going to spoil everything? No, not going to spoil it. Not going to spoil it. So um, we're going to do our coaster next. Uh, um, our hugger next and. That sound means it's done. Wow. Beautiful. Also looks looks great. And you know, coasters, you just can't get enough of coasters. Um, how good they look. They're extremely durable. Um, just a, a, a low cost but high value product. And so, you know, it the more you put into personalizing the artwork, uh, great looking artwork, great looking colors, obviously the more it's more it's worth. Yeah. All right. So um, to prepare my hugger, I just lint rolled it. I pro sprayed my image, and now I'm going to press it image face down for 50 seconds. Yeah, something like that. So oh, this is sort it. of like a mouse paper. pad kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and um, Again, you know, these products 
start is a sort of a grayish kind of product, and so because they're you know the the black part of it, um, so you don't quite get the pop. But with using a good profile, using um, good ink and all that, you can you can really get great results. We have so many huggers you wouldn't believe. Um, every day more it seems. So uh, take a look. We even have some unsewn huggers for people that want to do an amazing job of getting down into where the, the sewing is on the edges. So you got, got some great opportunities there. Um, All right. Okay, so we, only, we have a couple seconds left and I do have a surprise for you today. So we're doing Try It Thursdays and um, our last Facebook Live we did uh, patches on hats and this Facebook Live we're going to do something extra special. Well, it is extra, yes, extra special. I think it's extra So we're going to sublimate the cork bottom of the coaster. So for the hugger, we got to do the other side. Wow, looks yeah, good. That's look good. So we're gonna. It's it's still very hot, but we're gonna do the other side. Um, yep. Great. Question. If someone was to buy the Maxi Press in large format printers, what kind of customers would you serve, or what products do you offer using those products to justify the cost? So our question is: Is why should you buy a big uh, heat press and a big um, printer and, and really it comes down to two way two reasons number one is because you have a large volume of stuff to do it could be small it could be large but you need more throughput um, the other reason is because you want to do big stuff and so there are now some some viral trends out there like the metal and glass that are great markets to get into. They're they're tremendously good. Yeah. So the Chromalux market, um, absolutely viral. Very high premiums for that metal. Um, so these systems were all tweaked over these years to get to the Chromalux 40 by 60 size. So that that's our size we want to get to, and so it does a beautiful job with 40 by 60, um, and so. You know, people that would buy this could sell directly to clients, um, people who, you know, want to put it in their home or business. They could also um, sell to other people that would resell it, like galleries. Um, they could sell to the artist. Um, they then could resell it, the photographers. Um, so I think there's, there's um, a, a tremendous amount of, of opportunities for success. Now, my recommendation, also there's a bunch of other products like car mats, floor mats, you name it. My recommendation is if this is of interest to you, then um, I would say don't buy it for now. Um, outsource it to someone. We do a uh, large format uh, sublimation here at Condi for you on a wholesale basis. Um, so outsource it to prove your financial model, to prove that you're going to make the money you think you did. Um, to I guess you know you could call it bootstrapping your business instead of spending the money, you get to take advantage of the products without spending the money. Um, you get to plant those seeds, uh, grow some uh, your clients out there. So in in talking to the many clients that we do have that have large equipment. I would say most of them have a particular niche that they serve already. Um, um, and so developing that, I think, is, is helpful. Um, many times we will refer business to our clients if they'll let us know that they're open for business. Um, we'll refer business to them. But, you know, you, you can consult with us more um, and we can, we can discuss it. But, you know, Outsourcing it at first probably is the uh, right thing unless you're sure. Another great application, you know, I'm trying to think on my feet here, um, is the all over print shirts. Um, huge market. Absolutely huge. Um, you couple that with socks, 
with sleeves, um, ties, ties. You, you've got so many products Car that mats. you can do. Uh, yeah. Car mats are viral, folks. Yeah. Um, the ladies love those car mats for their patterns, their monograms. Um, they're great. Yeah. So we certainly can can you know talk a lot about um, our love for the the large format. All right. All right. So let's sublimate the cork. So I took uh, just a simplified version of the best dad ever uh, design. I'm going to use just a little bit of pro spray. I'm going to press this in between butcher paper for uh, about 30 seconds, uh, image face down, cork face up. Now, I'm not exactly sure why cork sublimates, um, so if you're thinking about asking that question, I don't have the answer. Um, but you know, um, you know, it's one of those kinds of things um, is I hesitate to ever say no to something. What I think is the right response is, is I don't know, I'm not sure um, about anything because I have been proven wrong countless times, um, just over and over again. And people, you know, will call up and say, well, can you do that? And I'll say, well, no. And they'll call me back and say, well, I found a way to do it. All right, so. Unbelievable. There you go. So now you have a fantastic gift for Dad. So I suspect the ways that are probably used to keep the cork together, and uh, those re resins are, are polyester-based, and that's essentially what you're seeing. That would be my best guess. I need to probably go to Wikipedia and see what, what cork is really made out of. Um, you know, maybe years ago it was, you know, cork, maybe it's not quite that anymore. Yeah, so guys, um, on your next order of um, uh, $150 in, or more, you get this free art pack, which is super cute. And, um, you know, I use the same piece of art on every single, uh, uh, you know every single item here so you know you can use it on the smallest ones to the biggest ones um, it's all separated into layers so it's really easy to uh, you know navigate around and um, and edit and yeah so looks really good good job thanks David um, so uh, anything in closing um, um, so questions are we going to Indian in Indianapolis yeah. We are. So the question is, are we going to NBM Indy? And we are. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I've taught my class there for many years, and um, that is just an amazing audience. Um, always lots of good questions. Um, so, so please attend. Always just a great place to go. Fantastic crowd. So look forward to, to seeing you there. Indy, register for the classes. I suspect that, that Jeff and I will be teaching our class, and then uh, Doug will be teaching his transfer paper class there. Um, and I hope we stay on a roll with the coloring station, and we'll, we'll keep you informed. Yeah.